All right, thank you, David. Today, President Joe Biden is back on the campaign trail in the battleground state of Michigan after wrapping up the NATO summit. Yesterday, the president insisted he is not ending his reelection run during a news conference, even as more Democrats join calls for him to do so. Jared Hill has the latest from New York. I'm determined on running. In a rare solo news conference, an energetic President Joe Biden defied calls to drop out of the 2024 race. I've got to finish this job because there's so much at stake. The president faced tough questions for an hour as he tried to tamp down concerns over his age and fitness for office. I've taken three significant and intense neurological exams. Can you name me somebody who's got more major piece of legislation passed in three and a half years? But last night, more House Democrats publicly called on the president to step aside. Among them, Connecticut's Jim Himes on CNN. In the next 96 hours, perhaps, is the moment to set aside the poetry, the loyalty and the love and ask yourself a hard question, which is, are you sure he's going to win? The president's performance reassured other Democrats. I think he convinced a lot of people he should stay in the race. The gaffe prone president did make a few missteps yesterday. First, flubbing his introduction of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky at a NATO event. President Putin. <laughs> President Putin. He's going to beat President Putin. President Zelensky. And later, while referring to his running mate, Vice President Kamala Harris. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President, but I think she was not qualified to be President. Former President Donald Trump mocked the gaffe on social media, writing Biden, quote, has Trump derangement syndrome. It is worth noting that while Congressman Jim Himes called on President Biden to drop out, he also said he would work to get the president reelected if he does decide to remain in the, as the Democratic nominee. Himes is now one of 17 congressional Democrats to publicly say Mr. Biden should step aside. And CBS News has learned as many as dozens of others could also come forward.